Guys, we finally can talk about it. Holy cow. It's been so long, <clears throat> Stefan. It so has long. been a long time, yeah. <laughs> we are finally going to talk about the signature Tom DeLong Starcaster is here. We can finally just start posting and talking and showing. Like, I'm really excited. What about you? I am very excited. First off, sorry, I'm battling a, some sort of flu, so my voice is messed. But <clears throat> other than that, I'm super excited. I, this has been a long time coming since, what, over a year now since yeah. since they first like shown off just even Tom's, right? So, um, right. And, it's um, unreal. Just some high level thoughts. One thing you guys already, I'm going to try to talk most of this video because Stefan is in a lot of pain. So if you get sick of me, I'm sorry. Um, the other thing, high level, you, you had to know when you saw him playing that Starcaster that we were going to get a signature model. I would just see comment after comment that would be, are we getting the star? Are we getting the star? Where's the star? And when the Strat came out, everybody was so, like, surprised. They were like, why mm -hmm. is this not the Starcaster? And it just takes so much time. It takes so much time to R&D it, figure out, like, where they're going to make it. That neck has a custom shape that goes in the neck pocket. It has 22 frets. It's the first Rosewood Starcaster at least that I've ever seen, available to market. And it's got all these like custom colors, these satin finishes. It takes a lot of time, but it is finally here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully available at your local music shop. We're recording this before the actual drop. So it's like, I don't know how fast these things are gonna go, but if you want one, I would recommend if it's like the Strat, buy one as soon <laughs> as you can. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I. I everyone's been posting these things already so there's a lot of music stores around the world i guess now too that have been selling them a little bit earlier than they're supposed to but uh yeah to brian's point i think if you really want one of these um definitely be there on launch day to, to grab one um especially if there's a certain color that you want because you know usually like when they do these signature runs there's a color that gets kind of you know left out to, like, for the strats it was the black one um so I think, you know, for this one, everyone's been saying, oh, I'm going to get the gold. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. There really wasn't one that was really more than the other, I found, which is super cool. Like, I, I'm, you know, I, I think that's actually really, really cool. And the colors that they're coming in is, well, we'll talk about that in a second. But I think, you know, it's a good, a really good move on Fender. Yeah. But how this started well, was, it... sorry, go ahead. Are we talking about what are we talking about now? Price point? Are we talking about what? What do we got? Just Tom teasing it? Yeah, this is so. This is the picture of just Tom just teasing it. Um, from what my understanding, it was uh, he teased it a little bit earlier than it's supposed to, but mm -hmm. in straight Tom fashion. I mean, that's that's why we love him. Um, yeah. So he's Denny's video was the prototype <clears throat> Starcaster, the yeah. one that you're getting at your house is the same as the Denny's and the same as the one where he's holding it by his couch. You're getting that one that's yeah exactly um so i guess we could just start talking about specs and and, and all this and kind of what you're you know what you're going to be yeah. getting so it does come in the four colors it comes in olympic white shell pink um surf green and shoreline gold all satin. all satin which is again super super cool <clears throat> um thought, what are your thoughts for the colors colors are amazing um I know we're going to get a lot of comments about, well, Tom's shell pink is a lot lighter. It is, but you got to remember, like, when you're selling a production guitar, you got to fall. I know, like, people will disagree, but you have to fall within their standard, their paints. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you're at Lowe's, and they don't really have this, like, custom color catalog. They just have, like, these are the colors. What color do you want? Mm -hmm. And so, like, I kind of feel like they did a really cool pink. Like, that pink is, it's like a like a bubblegum pink, kind of like Scully, but it is satin. And then the pink and white have the black hardware and the green and gold have the silver hardware. They also have the black binding on the black hardware with the black knob. And then the other two have the like cream or white binding with the white knob. I haven't seen it in person. Is the binding white or cream? Do you know? Uh, I think that, I think it's cream. Okay. Yeah. On the, uh, on the other two. Um, yeah, that, that's the shell pink. It, it's it's a very and it's it, depending on like the lighting. It seems too because in some photos, <clears throat> it, it's like a dark pink. It looks like and then in some other photos, it's like I I mist mistook it, I'm mistaken it for the white one even in some photos because it's just it's it's actually you're right. Like it is a very unique 
well, maybe not so much unique, but a, a good choice color for pink for them from the uh, production line anyways. And with it being, you know, lighter on Tom's, uh, we, you and I have talked about this numerous times before about the custom shop have, they, it, should, it could still say surf green, it could still say Olympic white, shell pink, whatever, and it could, they're just different, that little bit different of a shade or whatever it is in the custom shops compared to the uh, production lines. So um, it is darker, but it, you know, really, if you're looking at the pink, it would be more of um, like the the C sharp tuning, like baritone style uh, for Adam song that he uses, right? Like, cause that one's a bit darker than his, like the Milo one. So <clears throat> I still think that, uh, you know, I know people might want a lighter pink, but uh, for production line, like this is, this is actually really good. Right, and Stefan made a great point. He's got two whites, the one that had all the adult stickers on it, and that one's more of an Arctic bright white that has now been cleaned off. It was the Dance With Me video one. And then the one that, um, what's the other white? The Blink Caster, that's the Olympic white, and that's the one that's going to match the one you can buy. So people that are wanting to copy the Blink Caster and make their own, the white one's going to be really close. I think it. I think you the two the reversed. So the Olympic oh, I okay. Olympic white was one of the originals. Yeah, because the, the blink cast. I've seen it like up close. Like I've held it. It's it's a lot lighter. Um, okay. It is like you're right. The Arctic white is like what it would it would. Arctic be is one of them, and then if you want <clears throat> yep. to cut this part out, cool. If not, we'll leave it. In. No, it's, um, it's it's all good. It's it's uh, it's it, 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 yeah. <laughs> it it is a very different white though from the from the the blink to to this okay. one for per perfectionist. Yeah, then he has a custom green one, but the difference is his black binding, but it looks really close to the, whoa, it looks really close to the one that they sell. Yeah. And then his gold is a little different. It's got black binding, but it's more of like a gold top gold, like your Les Paul, but the one we're getting is, is matches the Chris Shiflet uh, signature, that shoreline gold. Yeah. Okay. And I actually like the shoreline gold. I, I mean... You know, I, I'd, I'd like to see the other one up close more, but um, I, I do like the lighter gold on the on the shoreline. And for, you know, I, I know we'll probably talk about it in a sec, but of like which ones that we are planning to get. And it's so hard for, you know, because that gold really, it's as soon as I saw it, like, it's like, oh, this is this is nice. Um, yeah, I mean, if we're still talking about colors, I think me and Tex, me and Stefan had texted and switched our color choice to all different four yeah. different times. We're just like, oh, I like this one now, and this one, like, it just flops around. Yeah. Great color choices all around. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, um, one thing that you and I were talking about before, it would, it would be cool to, if there was, if you did get two of them, or you have a friend that has one or whatever, and one has the chrome hardware, one has the black hardware, and switch them up, because... Like I was thinking, the uh, the uh, the white to match with, I guess, what Tom's was right is the um, to have the the chrome hardware and <clears throat> you know putting the gold, having the black hardware would look really cool too, right? So it's mm -hmm. it's it is cool. It is it's it's interesting that they did pick two different, um, not just in colors, but just two different hardware colors too. Right, and we keep getting asked by people, what bridge is this? I have a build, or I'm doing my own thing. It, I'm looking at the spec sheet right now, and under bridge, all it says is six saddle adjustable bridge. Um, I think the one that's on the signature model looks very similar to the Pro line that they sell. If you want to get one that's closer to Tom's, I think he has the Goto one. Did I say that right? Goto? G-O-T-O-H. Um, but the choice is yours. I think they're very universal if you're building or making, but that's all the spec sheet says on the bridge. Yeah. Um, so it is, you know, just talking about this for the, for the specs, like it is, um, the, the neck is going to be the same kind of style that he has right now. It's roasted maple, C-shaped neck. It doesn't have the inlays, which some people are upset about it. Some people are happy about Personally, I, I like the dot inlays. Um, it, it, it makes well, it more of like, it's not a blink, full blink guitar. It, you you can do have more. to pay royalties to everyone that owns that blink logo. Yeah, yeah. Ex no, exactly. Um, it has the, the SH5 and I, I have played the SH5, uh, custom and, um, it is very different sounding than you would have, than you would expect from, you know, like the invaders that Tom would use or, um, JBs or dirty fingers. Like it is a different, so, you know, you do have to turn up that, you know, crunch a little bit more on the, on the app to, to get you know, more of a, <clears throat> more of that crunch than you're, that you're typically used to with the guitars. Um, but kind of a classic rock pickup. Very much. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, very, very much. Um, and the other cool thing is that they did put on there is uh, the, the fender locking tuners. That was actually kind of surprising that they did put those on there because those really aren't that cheap, right? Like, those, it's, it's interesting that they actually did put that, um, that yeah, on there. Um, um, what else? Okay, to talk about uh, the neck has uh, got the gloss on it. The body's got satin. Kind of a strange pick, in my opinion. I think they should have both been satin, but it's fine. If you don't like it, you can sand it down. Um, it's got pearloid dot inlay, synthetic bone nut, the nine and a half standard radius with a modern C-shaped neck. So it's pretty much just getting a fender strat, like a standard fender strat. This is not like a 69 neck shape. It's more of just like you pick up a USA strat, and like this is what the neck would feel like. But um, I hear it's very light. I hear it's around seven pounds. Um, trying to think of what else there is to it. Uh, it's got the black pickup ring around it, which is like a Gibson pickup ring. If you wanted to switch that to cream, very standard pickup ring. Um, the locking tuners, very similar to the Jim Root. It's got the one string tree with the locking tuners. I like how the headstock doesn't say Starcaster. It just says Fender, just like Tom's. Uh, it's got his little poet guy on the back of the headstock. It's got his little alien guy holding the TNM on the neck plate, just like the Strat. And we were told by not only Tom's team, management, guitar techs, that this Starcaster is so close to his actual ones. And the Strat, that we've even been told, like, the Strat is nothing like Tom's actual Strats. But, like, this is so close. Like, yeah. you almost, like, can't even tell after playing it that you're like, holy crap, this is a signature model that we sell for, you know, a thousand bucks. But, like... At the time of this video, this guitar is eleven ninety nine coming out, and uh, it is made in Indonesia, which I don't know why it makes some people mad. But like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we don't have the equipment in the USA factory to build hollow bodies or in Mexico, so like, why not do the most efficient thing they can and build the bodies over there and make a better price for everybody? The only thing that I really have a problem with is I wish it came with a gig bag. I do. But other than that, like, the price point and everything makes sense to me. If you are wanting a gig bag, they do make a gig bag for the Starcaster. Just search Fender Starcaster gig bag. And that's what Tom's come in. When he gets them custom made, they come in that bag. He does not have a hard shell case for them. I've heard, ru oh, there it is again. I've heard rumors about a hard shell coming, Stefan, but it's not anytime soon. Like, it would take a lot of R&D. <clears throat> yeah, it take a bit of time. No, it, take, it would definitely take a bit of time for, you know, for these Starcasters too. Like it really, I think it's like the best of both worlds. You're getting... Trying to get the, the fireworks. Fireworks? I, mean, I don't remember. Like, oh, I, man, I can't do it. Um, but yeah, and it, so it's, it's like you're getting the best of both, right? You're getting a Gibson feel of the body. You know, the neck is very Fender. Um, <clears throat> so it's it really is a combination of, you know what the two other signatures he had so it's um i don't know i i'm very very excited i love the hollow bodies um i they play amazing they feel amazing um now i i think we got to stress too that you know when when getting these things too you know th th this isn't like a, a custom shop you know whatever it is whether it's gibson or fender um so you know you do get what you pay for i think anyways and i think that it's definitely worth worth the money for this thing um i think a lot of people are going to be pretty happy with it to be honest like it's it's good yeah i wanted to um do you have just me and you on the screen right now okay um, yep if you can so i wanted to give a to answer a question on how tom's on the back of the neck plate has the shawler uh, pin on there, like the strap pin like this. If you use the normal neck plate screw and you put it through, uh, I gotta go through this one. You put it through, it doesn't, the head doesn't come all the way in. It just sticks out. And we found out, with a lot of research, we were looking to see what screw is it that they're putting in there that fits in there that's thick enough and long enough. And after going to several hardware stores and talking to Brian Thrasher, they're shaving the head down. So they're using like a Dremel or like the, whatever the thing's called that spins and you put it up to it and then like shaving the outside of the head. So that way when the screw goes in, 
it's flush like that through the neck plate. Now your other solution is you could use a screw like this and use wood glue or filler or um, like a Dremel or dowel rod or something. But I think if you want to be like Tom, you got to use the neck screw and then shave the head down. Just some research I found, a lot of questions around the Schaller. If you get the new version of the Schaller pins, they have the screw built in and it won't work. You've got to get the fender versions or the old Schallers that have just this piece by itself. I hope that helps. Yeah, that's actually good information. I didn't, I didn't even know that. That's that's actually really cool. Because yeah. yeah, I guess it's like really, I mean, you'd have to have something strong on this to make sure those things don't fall off. So that makes sense too. <laughs> yeah, and that's for the people that want the strap locks like Tom, and he has, he actually has the fin. I call it Schaller, but it's Schaller style. But Fender makes their own version, and uh, it's what he has there. And they shave the head of the screw down. So, so the more you know. All in all, Brian, what do you, uh, what color are you going to get? Oh, um, so I wanted white and gold and it took me forever. And I finally settled on gold because it's just so different. Like, I just want something that's not like a typical, like show up at Fender or, you know, guitar store and buy it. Like the gold just feels so unique to me. What do you like? It's, it keeps going back by gold or white. White, I, I've always, I mean, I love white guitars. Having the white with the black binding, it's, you know, it that gets me every time. And especially Olympic white, because I really love how Olympic white ages and it yellows. And <clears throat> that's why I love your Les Paul so much. It just looks like it's been, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, I, I love that color, but I'd like it like, naturally, not just whatever. Yeah. But, um, so it's, it's those two for sure. I, I, it's a toss up, but I mean, probably the white, if I'm, if I had to pick one off the top of my head. Or right, whatever, they're, but... they're going to be great guitars. Um, I do want to throw out there that if you're disappointed that we're not getting the artwork guitars like Tom and Mark play, we're not going to get any of those artwork guitars. Can you imagine the royalties that they would have to pay to the artists? Like, we're not... You're going to only get the plain ones um, unless it was like a super custom shop version that was really expensive. Um, only expect plain colors or maybe stripes or something like maybe i'm not saying that's coming but like that would be pretty much the max you would get when you say yeah i think so honestly i think so <clears throat> um custom shop a lot of people say thinking that custom shops are coming i i don't know if custom shops starcasters um because realistically if you're you're wanting it to be just like tom's the body the hardware everything's pretty much exactly what he has it's the only the it's just the neck yeah. and like the inlays and even the neck is like is pretty close to what it is so yeah unless there is like some artwork that like they can do or something but it would just be like really expensive for yeah. i don't think that much more that you would really get from a custom shop to make it like tom's like you could make a custom shop starcaster and make it you know handmade and all these things but like you know it's Tom's is the same body as what you're getting on these things. And just keep in mind, guys, the guy that did the inlays for Tom and Mark for Scully and the Punker Strat is Ron Thorne, headmaster builder of Fender Custom Shop. And he did these for the Smileys, too. So, like, I just don't see a Custom Shop version coming with the Smileys for us. We're not cool enough. Yeah, I, I do think, <laughs> I do think though, like if it could really, really, though, if they did a custom shop, I think that's the only, and there'd be a limited run because like you said, like Ron has to do them all by hand. So it's and a it lot of work. Like over 10,000 easily. <laughs> maybe yeah. that's maybe way too low. <laughs> um, another question we get asked a lot too is, do you think we'll get any custom to the stars colors, like the blackout strat and stuff like that? And I think it would be a cool idea if they did do something like that, like for sure, like, I don't know uh, in what capacity, but I think I'll tell really you, well. I replied to a message on our gear page today, Gear Way 2 on Instagram, and uh, they asked that exact question, and I said, I have no insider information, which I don't, but it would be insane if they didn't do a, a limited drop like they did that Blackout Strat, maybe even like the Blackout Star I, with a red knob, I could see that in two seconds um yeah. why not it would sell in a minute and it's just guaranteed to go so and it's not like the fender doesn't have an abundance of that black paint to it's not some custom color or anything it would be really cool if they did do that because the strats are the blackout strats are already satin right so i don't know that would be really cool though to do if they did that with the red knob 
<clears throat> yeah, Red yeah. Knob, Black Blackout, Black, Blackout, Starcaster. It would sell, and it would match the Blackout. It just makes sense to me. Yeah. That'd actually be pretty um, cool. But they, yeah, would, they would need a hard shell case for that, though, eh? Right. But now we did, I mean, that's, I mean, that's a little bit of insider information for you guys. We have talked to some of the Fender guys about making a, a case for it. And they said they want to, if it sells really well, they plan on keeping this model around. It's just not going to be in a month. It's, it's going to be a while. What do you think sales are going to be compared to like the, the strat, like the reissued strat? <clears throat> So um, a couple of our mutual friends uh, that me and Stefan have, we've been in a debate with this, and I think that the, I think the Strat is probably going to sell better. And, and the only reason is because we had Tom coming back to the band, all this nostalgia of the Strat, the new album, the new tour, and then like this comes out. It is exciting, and I am super pumped for a new model, new guitar. But I think that it's not going to hit as much as that nostalgia, Tom is back album thing. But I mean, I hope I'm wrong. Like, I want it to do well because this is our favorite band and I want to see more and more stuff come out. But what do you think, man? Yeah, I, I agree. I think that with the whole nostalgia and everything that went along with it, it was just a kind of a perfect storm for them to have it come out. Um, I, I think now there's been, you know, quite a thing. They've done a few tours, they've done the music videos. So you're seeing that Starcaster now everywhere. Um, and uh, before Tom had that in his hands, like nobody really knew the, the Starcaster, or at least not, didn't pay it too much attention. So now that it is in that forefront, I, I do think you, know, you, you are seeing it a lot more places. Like even in my local guitar shops, like I'm, I've never seen Starcasters there before, even to Squires, like nothing. And every time I go to any of them, it, they always have at least two or three like hanging up. So, mm -hmm. um, I, I, I do think though that it's going to sell. It's just uh, yeah, maybe not as as quickly as the reissue. Uh, but yeah, yeah I, I and for, for the rumor, price point. I heard. I mean, I don't I don't want to say the number in case I'm not supposed to, but I heard that they are expecting good sales and they're going to have just as many stars as they had strats at the beginning. But if you remember, we went a few months without any strats, so they could sell out. Yeah, I think the first initial run is is there to see how you know maybe it's the, the initial run supposed to last x amount of months and um if you, they sell up before then you're still gonna have to wait to that next that next batch and who knows when that's you know when that's going to be right so if you are wanting to get one of these i really think you should act quick um better to be i think safe than sorry because yeah i think um, the other big thing is once people start seeing you know reviews coming out pictures of other people having it like you know you get that fomo right like you want to get it and yeah you know, especially if there's that certain color you want or whatever, I would bite the ball and just do it. If you can, if you can afford it. Yeah, and if the Strat has taught you anything, they're still, I mean, you can get used ones all day, but they still don't go on sale. There's, it, I look it up right now, it's 1300 and it was 1300 when it came out. So if you're waiting on a sale, unless you want to use one, you're going to be waiting a while. Might want to take the plunge if, if you just don't want to miss out, you want to play it and enjoy it. Yeah, 100%. I don't know, I... Again, it's this is the day I think that you know we've been waiting a long time for. Um, I know as soon as as soon as people saw him have one, everybody was you know building their own, um, you know almost complaining like why aren't they releasing them yet? Why aren't they releasing them yet? But I mean, as mm -hmm. you said, there's it just takes it takes so much time to do, and you know I'd rather have them coming out properly than like rushed and maybe you know yeah quality isn't the, the best that, or whatever. The way that I was told is it was like. <clears throat> You have to be really sure when you get the specs locked in because once it's locked in it's like you start a video game and you can't go back like you are set because you want that to be the model the standard you don't want to like constantly change the neck shape or the pickup or the knob you want to keep a consistent model um yeah. in your product so that's why they just had to be sure of all these specs and I, I just want to go back to the thing really quick that it does not bother me that it's made in Indonesia. I don't care. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know where else they could actually make these things. There's nowhere else. Um, so unless I'm you want to pay a premium. For, yeah, to get some super custom made thing, but like, yeah, I mean, there's no you can't do the Fender, you know, the mod shop where you build your own Strat. They don't have a Starcaster listed in the USA mod shop. So, 
I'll take it, man. <laughs> that would be that would be cool if they did though have that in the mod shop. Yeah. You might I I I mean I don't know you might start seeing that kind of stuff though if this sells like if this like is like a hit if it's it a machine that can press the bodies. But... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is true. Um, final thoughts. Um, you're probably seeing this video on release day, so we are excited. I don't have it yet. I want the thing in my house, so. I'm ready, man. What about you? I am also ready. I'm very, very excited to to, to get one of these things. I, <clears throat> I've i been wanting one of these things that I've been thinking about. Should I just build one? Should I wait? And I'm happy that I just waited. I mean, it, 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 it's going to be there and everything's going to be done and working and proper and all that stuff. So I'm I'm, ex I'm really, really excited. I don't think I, have, I, I haven't been this excited for a new guitar in a long, long time. Like this pumped for it. So yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm pumped. Um, if you guys are, you know, this year, I guess we're, we're, I'll probably put this out um, either the day of or just before. And uh, if you guys did get one, please, like on Instagram, it's uh, gear.182. Um, tag us in all of all the mobile. We will reshare everything for uh, for those for the next, you know, call it week. Um, so tag us, tag us, tag us. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, and I'm pumped to see everyone, everyone get these in their hand. So. <clears throat> On that right, note, what you, got, you got today, Stefan. Uh, I have <laughs> I have a bag of Gear One Eighty Two picks. That oh, I'm, nice! And I have because of our uh, because of our video that I don't I think it's going to be dropping after this one. Um, so you'll see this one first, or this this video first. So it gives you a hint of who our who our guest might be for. For the next one <clears throat> but yeah, I, I, had cool stuff. I don't have anything cool over here um i don't have anything cool by me i got a candle i don't know why i have a candle but i got a candle that's it that's what's it. the scent before we go what's the scent it's it doesn't even have oh what does it smell like it smells like depression no i'm just joking it smells, it smells like it smells like vanilla like yeah no <laughs> sometimes when i get stressed i just light that thing and just zen out <laughs> i love it but, all right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for bearing with my awful, awful voice. Um, and uh, yeah, again, please tag us in all the photos that you guys, when you guys get these, I'm so excited to see. So until then, thanks, everyone. Bye for Bye. now.